जय हिंद ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद त्यागी फ्रॉम अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर माय लेक्चर ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट के ए एस वन जीरो थ्री टी टूडे आई डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल टू डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस फर्स्ट बिफोर इट वी हैव कवर सम टॉपिक ऑफ दिस यूनिट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स इफ स्टूडेंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर तो दे कैन बी कॉन्टेक्ट मी इन माई नंबर today i discuss here a very most im important topic and that is known as the envelope of the curve first of all i explain what is envelope of the curve and then i explain what is the utilization and what is the role of envelope in our engineering as well as our daily life and after this i explain another topic evolute of the curve and after this i explain example based on the above topic the today lecture are the very most important due to only two topics envelope and evolute and these are the new topics for the student first of all how, how to calculate envelope of the curve i explain and first of all ref, today reference of the topics are e craging morris devier b v ramanna and b s grewal student can be opt any one of them if a student have any problem so he can help the or the following books with right so suppose first of all i explain the definition of envelope what is envelope the envelope of the family of the curves is the curve which is touched by every member of the given family of the curve and also at every point of it some member of the family of the curve touch it right i explain with the help of example suppose i have a equation of a straight line y is equal to x right suppose i have another line y is equal to 2x both are different line but manner of both are same suppose another y is equal to 3x so there are more than three line four line five line but these are represent a family y is equal to mx right so that means we can say in short form ke y is equal to mx right is a family of straight line right and this line may be touch any curve i explain here family of the curves right suppose y square is equal to 4x is a curve right what is the diagram of y is equal to 4x i explain how to draw the curve tracing right with the help of sopnar in previous lecture this curve contain even power of x so this curve is symmetrical in in x axis right this curve passing through the origin right how to calculate tangent at origin to so 4x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 that means x axis is the tangent student listen very carefully x axis is the tangent right right and symmetry of this curve is x axis right and tangent is equal to x is equal to 0 for x is equal to 0 that means y axis is the tangent so that means nature of the curve will be here this right so there are many line right one line is passing through this one line is passing through this right and there are more than lines and their line one be with this and this will be this so all lines of this curve will be family of curve some line are touch it and some line are passing through it so all these lines are the envelope of this line we can calculate in the reverse order if we have a line so we can calculate the curve right this is the reverse process so in this way we find out the envelope of each and every curve right what is the method to calculate the envelope so there is a method right there are two method i explain briefly one by one so first of all suppose f x y and alpha where alpha is a parameter y suppose y is equal to mx be a straight line x and y are the variable and m is a parameter suppose i have a curve in which two variable and one parameter right suppose i write here alpha being parameter right suppose this is the curve that is quadratic equation of the curve so how to calculate envelope first of all 
student keeping in the mind when we solve yeah, we calculate the envelope of any curve to first we differentiate of the curve with respect to parameter with respect to parameter suppose i have equation and we differentiate it, it with respect to parameter alpha to what will be the result here to result will be here this right this is differentiate with respect to alpha i write here with respect to alpha alpha square differentiation 2 alpha a i write here b alpha b and c is 0 so that means we have equation number 2 right suppose i wants to calculate alpha here from the 2 so what will be the value of alpha here right so alpha is equal to right alpha is equal to will be here alpha is equal to minus b upon 2 a right i write this value in equation number first and calculate a beautiful result here with the help of calculation what will be the result and result will be this right a student listen very carefully when we calculate the envelope of the curve that means right calculate the envelope of the curve how to so this curve will be in the form of b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 so without any calculation we can calculate directly the envelope of the curve right what is a so a will be here b will be here and c will be here so right putting the value of a b c and this will be the envelope of the given curve so in this way we find out the envelope of the given curve this is our first method right and this is known as quadratic equation suppose any curve do not have the quadratic form how to calculate so first of all i convert it into quadratic form standard form this and then calculate the envelope of the curve in this way we find out the envelope of the given curve how to i uh, taking the example find the envelope of the family of the curve how to calculate right this is a right family of a straight line right now our aim is calculate its envelope how to so first of all we see here m being the parameter right so that means our aim is differentiate first with respect to m right yeah with the help of quadratic equation b square minus 4 ac we can calculate directly right so with the help of this equation i write here this is the given portion right m goes to this side to m square x and upon m m goes to this side so we calculate this there is a quadratic equation in m right so that means a is equal to here x right b is equal to minus y right and c is equal to here a so in this way we put b square minus 4 ac so we can calculate easily in short duration of time okay, what will be the envelope of this curve so i write here right so what will be the envelope of this b square minus 4 ac i prove just now right now what will be the envelope so y square minus 4 ax is equal to 0 that means y square is equal to 4 ax right and student study it in 11th level okay, this is the tangent of this curve right so that means we can say another word okay, tangent of this right when curve will be this so that means envelope of given curve a family of lines will be y square is equal to 4 a x here right and student remember it as a formula right uh, y square is equal to 4 a x have right the family of a straight line that is known as tangent of this curve right so in this way we find out the family uh, the envelope of given family of a curve in this way we have take another example with the help of suppose i have another example right and i wants to calculate another method differentiation met, uh, differentiation of envelope how to calculate so suppose i have equation in the form of f x comma y comma alpha x and y are the variable and alpha is the parameter here right parameter may, may be any form m may be m may be t may be alpha right that is only notation for any two consecutive value alpha and alpha plus delta alpha that means we wants to calculate their differentiate with respect to alpha right so what will be the result this is given condition and this is a small increment in uh, alpha right so because our aim is calculation here first by the first principle we calculate here first derivative this is the 
डेफिनेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव देर इज नो चेंज इन एक्स देर इज नो चेंज इन वाई चेंज इज चेंज इन ओनली एल्फा तो वी कैन से दैट दिस इज नथिंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एल्फा दैट मीन्स राइट वी कैन से दैट वी कैलकुलेट हेयर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस दिस इज द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एल्फा दैट मीन्स पी विल बी सेटिस्फाई द कंडीशन द लोकस ऑफ पी विल बी ओपटेन बाई एलिमिनेशन राइट ऑफ द एल्फा राइट फर्स्ट एंड फोर हेयर तो वी कैन कैलकुलेट ए न्यू कर्व दैट इज नोन एज एनविलोप ऑफ द गिविन कर्व तो इन दिस वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफ्रेंसिएशन तो दैट वी कैन से दैट देर आर टू मेथड टू ओपटेन एनविलोप ऑफ द कर्व फर्स्ट इज बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी एंड सेकेंड इज फर्स्ट इज दिस बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी एंड सेकेंड इज डेल एफ अपॉन डेल ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई आई राइट हेयर डेल एफ अपॉन डेल ए बिकॉज पैरामीटर पैरामीटर मे बी वन एंड मोर देन वन राइट तो टिल नाउ वी हैव यूज ओनली पैरामीटर वन राइट इन द नो नेक्स्ट इफ पैरामीटर मे बी मोर देन वन तो हाउ टू सोल्व द गिव इन प्रॉब्लम we discuss here later on right so first of all i consider the another problem find the curve of the which straight line this is the straight line x cos cube theta plus y sin cube theta is equal to c is always a tangent because our aim is uh, draw a here tangent which curve tangent so that means here our motive e motive um, will be to obtain the curve right that means obtain envelope of the given curve right so first of all i write here given equation the, right x cos cube theta plus y sin cube theta where theta is a parameter so i first of all we differentiate partially with respect to theta here right so how to write uh, differentiate theta with respect to theta right there is a new word that is known as partially what why partially if variable more than one that mean that means we use the partial differentiation not a simple differentiation right R right what is the differentiation of x cos cube theta so 3 x as it is cos square theta and cos theta minus sin theta so i write here and what will be the differentiation of this y sin cube theta with respect to theta so 3 y sin square theta cos theta we see here first of all i calcul uh, calculate here 3 cos theta sin theta is common and remaining portion will be tan theta is equal to x upon y so i write here right now with the help of right angle triangle student studied in the 10th uh, level suppose this is uh, theta and this will be y and this will be x right uh, uh, sorry this will be x and this will be y here how to calculate this suppose this is right angle triangle this is theta right and this is x perpend, uh, perpendicular upon base right x and y and what will be the hypotenuse so hypotenuse will be x square plus uh, y square now what will be the sin theta here so sin theta will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse so this is will perpendicular upon hypotenuse and cos theta base upon hypotenuse so cos theta is equal to this so in this way with the help of tan theta we find out the value of sin theta and cos theta because in the given problem right have cos theta and sin theta so first of all we calculate sin theta and cos theta i write the all values of sin theta and cos theta in equation number first so what will be the new result here so result will be this after the calculation right this is the lcm right this goes to this side to so see right and squaring on both side so what will be the result here so result will be this right so this is the our problem based on the this topic so that means this is the envelope of this family of the curve so in this way we can find out our problem suppose consider another problem find the envelope of the family of the straight line x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to l sin alpha into cos alpha that is very most important Uh, uh, problem and explain the the uh, where alpha being the parameter how to solve so first of all i write here right divided by sin alpha and cos alpha so what will be the condition here cos alpha is cancel out by cos alpha x upon sin alpha plus y upon cos alpha is equal to l here suppose i wants to uh, differentiate with respect to alpha so what will be the differentiate of x upon sin alpha so differentiation of x upon sin alpha will be minus x as it is 1 upon sin square alpha and differentiation of sin alpha is cos alpha in the same way 
what will be the differentiation of this this to 1 minus 1 upon cos square alpha and cos alpha minus to minus minus plus to i right here right now with the help of this first of all we consider here right tan cube alpha is equal to x upon y here so tan alpha is equal to this in the same way with the help of right angle triangle this will be theta and this is x raised to the power 1 by 3 and this is y raised to the power 1 by 3 now what will be the value of this so value of this will be x raised to the power 2 by 3 plus y raised to the power 2 by 3 here right so in this way we can find out the value of cos alpha and sin alpha with the help of previous problem so what will be the value here suppose i want to erase it so value of sin alpha will be this and value of cos alpha will be this right perpendicular upon hypotenuse base upon hypotenuse and we calculate this putting the value of putting the value of cos alpha and sin alpha in the equation number this right so what will be the value of our problem yeah we can put here in this form because this is equation number one both are same there is nothing change right so what will be the value after taking the lcm this will be the value and suppose i wants to calculate the cubic on both side so this will be the this form right and what is this this is the asteroid in the previous lecture i explain what will be the diagram of this function the so, diagram of this function will be here right asteroid figure i i explained uh, in the previous lecture what is the curl tracing of such type of function so we can say that right this is the envelope of the given family of lines so that means we can say that every uh, curve touched by the a family of curve that is known as a, our problem this is another problem right obtain the envelope of the family of curve and given curve is this right so first of all where alpha being parameter so first of all i write in the form of and taking the lcm so first of all i convert this and this is not a quadratic form so first of all i uh, convert into quadratic form suppose i wants to calculate here alpha square is equal to t so this will be t square this will be t and there is constant so that means this is nothing this is a quadratic equation in alpha square right so that means b square is equal to 4 ac will be the envelope of the, this curve and what is a and what is b so a is equal to 1 here this is minus uh, b and this is c so if we putting the value of a b c here so what will be the conclusion the conclusion it will be this right so suppose this goes to this side and i write it right 2k whole square and we know that if a square minus b square right right what will be the result of these terms the so result will be a minus b right a plus b so in this way we find out the this problem this is the uh, conclusion of the this result now question is that what is the result of these terms right so this is the perfect square of x plus k square minus y square this is this perfect square and this is the perfect square of x minus k ka whole square minus y square this is only calculation right right uh, there is a minus between two square so first of all i write one times plus and one time minus so i write here this right this is the two problem and what is the result of this that means we got four straight line here right that means this is the envelope of family of this curve right how this is a curve and this is the family of curve because all these are the straight line how to draw so this is the nature how to draw such type of line this is first line this is second line this is third this is so what is the diagram of so this is the first equation right this is x plus y is equal to k here right similarly second row will be here such type of third row will be this and next row will be this so we can say that there are four line we we can draw in the two dimension plane in x y so this will be form of a square here so i write here that means a square of the straight line is the envelope of this line this is the geometrical interpretation of the result of this value in this way we can find out the value of each and every terms right any student can say that suppose sir curve have more than one parameter so i write here another uh, topic two parameter connected by a relation i write put up it suppose in this problem x and y are two variable and there are two parameter one is alpha 
and there is beta and there exists a relation between alpha and beta. So, I write here ke phi is a relationship between alpha and beta here I write here. So, how to calculate the envelope of such type of problem? So, first of all we consider that ke beta is a function of alpha ke one parameter is a relationship with the another parameter right. So, how to calculate? So, first of all with respect to alpha right and then with respect to beta. So, we consider and take the decision with respect to alpha first right. So, suppose I wants to calculate with respect to alpha this is known as partial differentiation. A student study the partial differentiation in the first time if there are two variables. So, suppose differentiate f with respect to alpha right plus f with respect to beta and beta with respect to alpha right. We can say that f is the function of alpha and beta right. So, first we calculate here and beta is a function of alpha. So, first we differentiate with respect to alpha So I write here plus first with respect to beta and then with respect to alpha So I write here. So, that means in this way we can find out our problem and with the help of beta and alpha we calculate the here. In the same way 5 differentiate with respect to alpha plus 5 with beta and beta with respect to alpha right. I write a differentiation because beta have only one variable. If we have one variable to differentiation, if we have more than one variable to partial differentiation. A student keeping in the mind when solve the problem because partial differentiation is based on the unit number third right. So, we explain uh, 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 or elaborate in unit number third what is partial differentiation. So, in this way we can find out our problem suppose find the envelope of the family of the straight line right x upon a is equal plus y upon b is equal to 1 when a b is, is, is equal to c square where c is the constant and a and b are the parameter i right. So, how to calculate the result? So, first of all this is the equation number first and this is equation number second and we consider that right ke a is the function of b. So, first of all we differentiate with respect to a regarding b as a function of a i write here. So, how to differentiate? So, suppose I wants to differentiate equation number first with respect to a. So, what will be the result? Minus x upon a square I write here right. Now, differentiation of y upon b. So, minus y upon b square into db upon da because I write here okay, b is the function of a. Now, we calculate here value of db upon da that is equation number third. Now, differentiate right equation number second this with respect to a. So, what will be the result here right. So, result of this will be b as it is and differentiation of a is 1 correct a as it is and differentiation of b is d b upon d a and value of d b upon d a again is this. This is also d b upon d a and this is also d b upon d a, but both are same because derivative of a function is unique right. So, that means both are equal and we calculate here this result. Now, with the help of this result we calculate our right strategy how to solve. So, I write here in the form of b b cancel out a a cancel out. So, I write in the form of x upon a here is equal to y upon b here right. Now, with the help of this condition how to got this right student listen very carefully this statement with the help of this now we create value of this how to. So, I write here right x upon a plus y upon b is equal to a plus b right in this way we can find out right x upon a is goes to this side right and y upon goes to this side we can write this this upon this and this upon this right 1. So, how to calculate x upon a plus y upon b I write here and 1 plus 1 is 2. So, I write here. So, result will be x upon a plus y upon b is 1 and 1 plus 1 2. So, that means result of x is equal to 2a yeah right and b is equal to 2y here. So, in this way we can find out ke x is equal to 2x and b is equal to 2y right and putting the value of a and b in equation number this. So, what will be the result here? So, result will be 4 x y is equal to c square. So, in this way that means this is the equation of hyperbola right. This is the required envelope of the given straight line which is connected by the two parameter that is a and b. So, in this way method are unique always in all procedure 
first of all we calculate d b upon d a with the help of connected relationship right that is the un easy portion right now with the help of right given curve is also calculate d b upon d a and both are equal and putting the value of a and b in the re re given relationship note a curve student keeping in the mind right suppose i have another problem Con consider this is very most important problem this is a curve family of line is that is represent a straight line and connected by the relationship this where a and b are the parameter and c is the constant right i uh, write here a and b are the parameter and connected by the relation how to calculate so this is first and this is second just as a previous problem so first of all i differentiate this with respect to a and i write here a is the function of b yeah b is the function of a how to calculate so we calculate here right differentiation of this minus x upon a square minus y upon b square db upon da and value of this we will be calculate easily right value of db upon da is this and value of db upon this is calculate with the help of problem so this is the our result calculate here x upon this y upon this but our aim is calculate in the form of given problem so i write here x upon a upon a raised to the power n is equal to y upon b is equal to b raised to the power n here right suppose i add both terms so what will be the result to so x upon a right plus y upon b upon a raised to the power n plus b raised to the power n and what is the value of x upon a raised to the power this and y upon b is equal to that is 1 and that is c raised to the power n now with the help of this line what will be the result here so we conclude that the so result will be here right a is equal to i uh, erase it right a is equal to this and b is equal to this with the help of this and this we calculate value of b putting value of a and b in the given recurrence relation and what is the recurrence relation right i explain the previous form right a raised to the power this and b raised to the power and this and this is the family of curve of given uh, right this is the envelope of the given family of a curve in this way we can find out the our problem based on the problem now next is right evolute of the curve the locus locus means path when a particle move in the space there exist locus the locus of the center of curvature first time is arise a center of curvature right the locus of center of curvature is called envelope of the curve right so in this way we can find out the curve suppose this is a curve and this is the center of this curve so i draw a perpendicular to the this right because this is the tangent and this will be the normal of this curve right so how to calculate with this the uh, uh, centroid so alpha is equal to with the help of this formula alpha is equal to x minus dy upon dx 1 plus dy upon dx whole square upon d2y over dx square and denoted by this right that means alpha and beta are the coordinate of the center of curvature so in this way we can find out the radius uh, center of curvature alpha and beta now there is another definition and another value right that is very most important and we solve with the help of this element right evolute and envelope of evolute as envelope of the normals that is the very most important i write here right so first of all we calculate the normal of any curve we know normal of any curve a student study in the 12th level how to calculate normal and tangent of the curve so first of all i calculate here normal and after the normal we calculate envelope of the normal will be the evolute of the curve yeah, we can say that the uh, right evolute of a curve is envelope of the normal of the that curve so first of all student keeping in the mind right first of all we calculate the normal of the curve and we calculate the envelope of the curve it will be known as the evolute of the curve right i write uh, here with the help of the diagram this is tangent and this is normal and this will be the evolute of the curve how to calculate i explain here one by one find the evolute of the ellipse first of all we know that what is the normal equation of the ellipse because a student study ellipse in 11th and 12th right i just explain or elaborate here right the equation of normal of ellipse is a sec theta yeah, a sec phi minus b cos sec phi is equal to a square minus b square where phi is a parameter so that means this now this is the normal equation of the 
ellipse. Now our aim is calculate envelope of this curve and it will be the evolute of the ellipse. So, in this way we find out the our problem right and we know that how to calculate envelope. Now, differentiate with respect to the phi right the, this will be this. What is the differentiation of sex i? So, differentiation of sex i is sex phi into 10 phi plus differentiation of cosec so, um, right minus 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 plus here. So, I write here right. Now, with the help of taking the common part so, 10 q phi will be b y over uh, a x here minus and this is the value of 10 phi. Now, with the help of right angle triangle we calculate it right and calculate the value of sec phi and ten, cosec phi and putting the value of in equation number that is known as first right. So, in the with the help of first equation we find out the, the equation. So, I write the value of there right and oh, we obtain the squaring on both side we obtain this result right and this is known as the evolute of the ellipse. In this way, we find out the evolute of the any kinds of curve. So, student remember very carefully, I explain again, if our aim is calculate evolute of the curve. So, first of all, we find normal equation of the curve and after this, we find the envelope of the this curve. So, result will be the evolute of the given curve. In this way, we find out our all problem based on here right. I think today lecture student have the gain and new uh, about the new concept of the here uh, envelope and evolute. If a student have any problem in today lecture, so they can contact me in my number. I will try to solve their problem right. All the best all of you. Today, I finish the module number 2. In the next lecture, I start module third differential calculus second right in the in uh, right if a student have any problem today lecture so they can contact me I will try to solve their problem. Jai Hind all of you.